Hello there, my name is Ismos, and uh, yes, so I made a tutorial on how to make a swarm of cockroaches in Blender 0.8. Uh, that tutorial, I have it on my second channel, top channel 101. I'll be leaving a link in the description. Uh, so this is uh, the texturing part of uh, the cockroach. So just to show you how I did the texturing, uh, you can say I did, I used projection mapping. Uh, sorry, projection text, yeah, UV mapping. So let me just copy this cockroach. I'll remove the textures and everything uh, so that we can start from scratch. Paste it here. Uh, we we'll remove uh, the materials so that we don't have any. I can see nothing. So let me subdivide this screen here. Mm. <coughs> Is this not working? Okay. And subdivide this as well. So I'll have this as my UV editor. I don't want to switch through to this here. I don't know. Uh, then, yeah. Now, uh, this is already UV unwrapped, so let me unclear all the seams and uh, also clear uh, the UV and and uh, the UV map. Let me also remove these all these keys and uh, the UV maps so that we can start from scratch. So this is what we have. Let's create a new material. And uh, let's go switch to loop dev, loop development here. Uh, we, you're going to need a few images to use here. You want uh, the top image, a uh, side image, the bottom. And depending on how, how detailed you want to be, you can also find a front image uh, for this. Uh, but uh, here are the images I used. You can see they're not that unique. I have that. I have this for the bottom, and I have this for this side. So I will start with this top one. Go to the top view. Uh, make sure you first add a UV map, and then unwrap. I use hit U and then projection from view, projection from view, and I have this. Then you can scale this scale this up to this to size up uh, the texture and you can bring in this texture in my texture find uh, that cockroach I think is this and see expand this for a second uh, you can turn on proportional editing by hitting O on your keyboard and uh, then you can start moving these vertices around uh, to capture different areas of the texture, you can see this is this these legs are going through uh, the white area. Uh, I don't like that. And uh, you can also turn on. Uh, I think it doesn't. Ha you don't have it here. I was hoping there was a connected only uh, check mark there to only move the checked uh, the connected vertices. But it's, you don't have it in uh, UV editing mode. So. Just move the vertices around. Make sure none of them is going outside uh, the uh, the white area. And uh, you can see these antennas here. I will just first turn off proportional editing and uh, can con control L uh, to select uh, the entire antenna. Control L or any separate e element individually. And I can uh, move it and proportional editing, just make sure that uh, they are aligned with those antennas. Or you can just move it, move the entire ant antenna around here. Uh, it won't matter that much. It will capture the same detail. Uh, I hope you get a better resolution image uh, than I have here, but uh, uh, this will work. So you can see the problem we have if you're just using one image. If you look at uh, the, the site, you see how the image is stretched. Uh, we don't see any eyes uh, in front is also stretched and uh, the bottom is using a d the same texture as the top uh, it doesn't really matter for a cockroach because most of the time you're going to be seeing it uh, from the top side uh, but uh, if you wanted to have more detail maybe you're going to shoot a close-up uh, you might want to capture some detail here uh, the front eyes maybe if you if it flips over you might want to capture that as well so for that, uh, we're going to name this UV map as top, top side, uh, because 
uh, the texture both for the top side and uh, we're going to have this image texture used as that uh, UV input. So I'll go under input and uh, select UV map and uh, select uh, the top side UV map we have just created here. Great. Now what we are left with is uh, another, we need to create a bottom side. So I'll add a new UV map. Now, what I really like to do is uh, re uh, have the first UV map uh, be the main UV map uh, that uh, I'll bake all the textures to. So I'll call this main UV map, UV. And uh, the great thing about this is that uh, whenever you duplicate a UV map, it will have the same, uh, it's like, yeah, you're, dupli you're essentially duplicating the same UV map. So uh, this UV, uh, this first one and the second one is still the same so I can rename this top side and I just make sure that uh, have that selected now I can go in and let's have a bottom side I just duplicate this setup here but uh, instead you can import uh, the bottom side image, this here, drop it in and use that. So I can just remove this. This should be bottom side. And uh, we can, if you edit this again, just go to the bottom, control seven to go to the bottom, to view the bottom and hit you projection from view and uh, this time make sure you switch uh, this image to bottom so that you can see to the bottom image i think is this here now we can rotate this around i uh, can go on and align other legs but uh, that's going to take a lot of time so i'll just move in move them inside and uh, since they are relatively small compared to the entire uh, mesh, it won't matter that much. So if I move them there, you can see. Again, make sure you don't see. They don't. The UV mesh doesn't spill out outside uh, the texture itself. So uh, these antennas you can just. Also, just bring them in so that they don't, they're not capturing. Or you can align them with these antennas, but uh, I don't have time for that. So, yeah, you can see the bottom. It's still the, still using the soaps. The, uh, we are going to use our uh, texture painting to create a mask uh, that will mask off the top side. Uh, so that uh, the top side uses this image and uh, the bottom side uses this image. But let's first set up the side. Uh, texture so side side yeah, side and uh, just unwrap projection from view to capture the side and uh, use uh, the side image you have so the the, the thing about this one here uh, is that uh, my image is flipped around you can see the antennas are facing the wrong direction so I'll mirror this on the X axis using control M and then X to mirror that Another thing you can see are uh, the legs are flipped over. So I need them to be also belly up. So control M, Y, to mirror that on the Y axis. And uh, now the, the legs are facing the same side as my, yeah, my texture. So I just now to, need to move this around. And again, make sure you duplicate this image and have it use the side view. Uh, use Control Shift click the node uh, to preview the image. And then make sure that I switch uh, the image as well. You can see how we are capturing the eyes here. That is some detail you would miss if you're using just one single image. Then move this around. To capture that side detail. Now let's start mixing these two. So 
if I have if I add a color mix RGB can connect this to the top and this to the bottom uh, let's preview this at 100% uh, which would be white uh, you see uh, the bottom zero you see uh, the top image so we need to add a texture image texture uh, let's give it create a new image and have this as our factor input uh, because uh, the default color for this image is black we are only seeing the top side and uh, I want to rename this so that it's easier for me to find uh, so this is top bottom and uh, this image should use the main UV so image and uh, the main UV you need to add some seams so make sure you have that selected control E because this is the UVs you're going to use for the baking and uh, this should be the UVs you use uh, for uh, the texture painting as well. So I'm just selecting this loop here. Ctrl E, mark seam and then unwrap. Let me remove this image. Uh, it should give me a nice UV map uh, to texture on. And then uh, let me change this to the top bottom image uh, that we are going to paint on and make sure it's using the main UV map connect this to the vector and now we can start painting so to paint it to paint uh, the image make sure you you have uh, the right image you want to paint on are selected and go straight to from object mode or just select the texture painting uh, layout here it will give you uh, the image here and uh, the other uh, object here so uh, if you change to to look dev I can see the materials and uh, I think it would be better if I also see the shaders here just to make sure that I have the right image selected uh, because if you have the wrong image selected and start painting you'll be painting over that image uh, something you don't want so let's select uh, that top image now if we start painting you can see we are starting we are revealing some of the some details here but uh, we are painting on the wrong side so i'll go on and uh, first discard or remove all the details i've painted go to the bottom and start painting that and see i'm painting a very faint stroke uh, that's because my strength is a bit low so let me push it to one so that i can paint this and see how we are painting bottom now so you can see you can also come in and just paint also here see the bottom has a different texture from the top now let's go to the sides so that we can capture the eye details and uh, reduce some of the stretching in the textures we have here. So for that, again, we need a different texture to take to paint on. So I'll select this, duplicate this around. Uh, make sure it's using the main UV. And uh, we're going to mix whatever we're getting from these three nodes, are the top and bottom, mixed with the, with the mask. Connect it to the top, color one, and then connect uh, this side view as color two. Let's preview this. You can see. So zero or black would be showing uh, the results from uh, this node setup. And uh, one or white will be showing uh, these side image or side texture uh, again we need to create a new texture so I'll just click this new button I'll call this side mask have that as the factor again because the default is black uh, we are seeing uh, the results from this side uh, so go to the texturing part 
Now let's start texturing. Again, make sure you have uh, the right image selected and uh, we can find uh, this image. Uh, sometimes you will see that uh, the nodules in the texture settings, uh, you need to find uh, the image you want to paint on. So if you switch from mode to single image, you can find uh, the image you want to paint on. So side mask is what we want to paint on. Now make sure you have that as what's going on here okay so I think I had a I already had an image called side mask so let me call this side mask 2 so that I don't confuse it with the last image I had there so I'll find that and I can paint on that now if I start painting you can see I just need to paint uh, the sides of this to capture uh, the details on the sides like that so you can see a very a seam here I want to paint over that just to capture some details there I can see we, we are now seeing the eyes let's go to this side and also paint we don't want to paint over the wings because uh, the top text the top texture will handle that that I think we have our cockroach like that and then you just have to fit this what's going on here you just fit this in the in the base color and you are good to go yeah so if you want to bake you can go on and bake I, I already have a few tutorials on baking so you can watch that if you want to so thank you